In one of the wealthiest areas in the nation, Montgomery County, more than a dozen people have died in the last five months from overdosing on heroin. How many times would you say you hit that vein? Oh, probably like 30, 40 times. His veins still bleed sometimes, evidence of his heroin habit, but this Potomac man is beating his addiction. I was injecting myself about seven times a day. He's speaking to News 4 about the heroin problem in Montgomery County. Statistics show there have been 13 overdose deaths from heroin in the county just since June. We are now seeing heroin popping up uh, throughout the county, not just in, in two or three pocketed areas. One of those areas is Damascus, known for its more rural qualities, landscape properties and expensive homes. I'm told there have been several heroin busts right here along Route 27 in Damascus, just a two lane road. I'm told dealers use this instead of the interstate. Some call it a virtual heroin highway. 22 year old Mary Evans attended Damascus High School. The heroin problem in Montgomery County and my, in my experience Damascus is at epidemic levels. She says the drug emerged quickly among young people as prescription painkillers got harder to buy. Really penetrated every click um, from the cheerleaders to the football players and then like the goth kids. And Evans has spoken out publicly kind of about the problem after her boyfriend who struggled with an addiction to pills took his own life. Other friends have died from accidental heroin overdoses. And it's really sad to see the kids that I know now who are addicted and to think like they're just gonna end up dead. Montgomery County School spokesman Dana Tofik told me there is drug education in schools. Educators look for warning signs of drug abuse and offer counseling. But he also said this is taking place for the most part outside of school. Quote, we have students for one quarter of the day, half the year. This must be a collaborative approach that involves the entire community, and that starts with parents, end quote. But Evans says drug use is taking place on school grounds, even in the classroom. I know for the short time that I was there, the culture in the school was that it was acceptable to bring drugs to school. She says when she has spoken about the addiction problem at school meetings, she's been told the problem starts and ends with parents. It's a community problem, and the schools are an integral part of the community, and for them to suggest at any point that it is not their problem is disturbing. Darcy Spencer, News 4.